Hello guys, I hope you are feeling blessed, never stressed. How's Sunday best? Whoop, whoop. So today we carry on with democracy and some of the heroes who fought for democracy. And one of those people was Fatima Mia. And I want you to say, to say it for me three times, it's not Fatima. Well, Fatima, Mary, Mary, it's Fatima, Mia. Let's go. Fatima, Mia, Fatima, Mia, Fatima, Mia. You will see how to spell it and remember names and surnames have capitals. Okay, so we're going to look in our textbook now. And it says on the bottom of page 154, during apartheid, many people like Fatima Mia spent their lives protesting against the government and educating others to stand up for their rights. Fatima Mia was a great leader who helped to build today's democratic South Africa. Okay, let's look at a case study of who she was and what she did. Okay. Here we go again with the scrolling. <laughs> I'm trying not to make that sound like you heard in the other video. Duk, 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 duk. Okay, right. One more. <laughs> okay, now I'm lying. That's a whole lot. Okay, Fatima Mia, a leader in building democracy. Fatima Mia was born in Durban in 1928. She was classified as Indian. Indians did not have the same rights as whites, but the apartheid laws treated Indians better than black people. At a young age, Fatima's father taught her that people in South Africa did not have the rights that they should have. Fatima studied and graduated from the University of Natal. Very few women who were not white were able to do this at the time. Over the years, Fatima was involved in many organizations that fought against the apartheid government and that helped for a community. For example, she was involved in, number one, protests against the government through organizing marches and meetings where she would speak out against the apartheid government. Okay, building better, understanding and partnerships between the black and Indian community. Number three, women's organizations that fought against apartheid and that helped people in the community. And number four, raising funds to build schools in poor communities. The government tried to stop people like Fatima. They banned her. Now, banning meant that she was not free to A, travel where she liked. B, she could not meet with large groups of people at a time. And C, she could not send out anything she had written for others to read. Remember those three important things about if you were banned in the time of apartheid. Okay, the government also put Fatima in jail for about five months without a trial. After 1994, Fatima continued to be involved in various organizations and community work in poor areas. Sadly, Fatima died in 2010 after she suffered a stroke. Okay, now in your books today, in preparation for your Moodle quiz on Fatima Mia and the next case study, Pais Langa, which will be on the 30th of September, Right, you're going to answer these questions in your book, date, heading, Fatima Mia, and subheading, activity eight, page 155. Okay, question one, where was Fatima born? You can tell me where and when in a full sentence. Name three things she did that you think helped other people. Full sentences, please. Three things for three marks. Why do we say that Fatima helped to build a democratic South Africa? And I want a nice, at least five sentence paragraph, please. What did it mean to be banned by the government? There you're going to tell me what three things happened if you were banned. 
And number five, if you could speak to Fatima, what would you say to her? Write two or three sentences. Okay, so it's not saying, what would you ask Fatima Mia? It's saying, what would you say to Fatima Mia? Two or three sentences. And I obviously rather prefer three. Okay, so that's what you're doing. And then that is your preparation for the Fatima Mia Moodle Quiz on the 30th of September. And you will also have a pious Langa Moodle Quiz. And we will be doing him in the next video. So guys, have a nice rest of the day. Love you lots. Over and out.